I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's questions come to us from Space Rabbit 94 who wants to know why is it that anonymous people online are so rude, and had I used a pseudonym in my writing, would it have changed my stories? Now, if you allow me, I'd like to answer your second question first and say definitively no. I would not have changed my writing, and, and the reason I know is that I didn't change my writing when I was required perforce to write without using my own name. Whether it was due to my revision work or my ghost writing, I maintained the same level of skill and dedication and strangeness that I brought to all my other works. As to this, this question of, of how people behave in the online space, I, I'm always amazed at how in this day and age you have managed to to curate this technology, which is remarkable. The, the ability to not only uh, connect with people around the world, but to go in vast distances through time, to dig through old archives. I can, at this very moment, pull out this little device, and with it I, I can read the entire works of Shakespeare, I, I can learn the history of the Indian subcontinent, I can go and talk to a Belgian if I were so inclined. And yet, Despite these small miracles, these, these interactions which would not be possible were it not for this, this global technological infrastructure that has been developed, societally, there are a few things to, to be desired. It seems that people do not know how to behave in these online social spaces. And anonymity has something to do with it. It's certainly true that when there are no consequences or no seeming repercussions, people can behave rather poorly. But even in those parts of the internet where people use their own names, they wear their own faces, well, they behave abominably. They say some of the most hideous, heinous, hateful things, and it seems that there's this casual culture of cruelty that we need to work around. And then if we cannot get rid of it, at least minimize it to some degree. There's always going to be differences in how people interact with one another. The, the way you act on the first day of school is very different from how you interact with strangers walking down the street, and we need to come up with some guidelines for how we interact with strangers, friends, family, acquaintances in these online spaces. We, we need rules, we need protocols, if you will. Because you see, we spend so much time in this strange ephemeral space, and we have so little time in this real solid world. Why shouldn't we aim to make it as pleasant as possible for all of us? It seems the only logical thing to do. But in the meantime, while we're trying to solve this seemingly unsolvable problem, we can always take a few moments from our various online fights and debates which are oh so very important and take a little break to watch a kitten or two. Oh, look at this little fella. How did he get into this hamper? And how is he going to get out? As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.